local attorney here in Detroit and uh, fighting against foreclosures. And the first thing I think that's very important is that we need to understand the real life effect of the whole foreclosure crisis and the lack of assistance to borrowers. People many times look at the numbers, but they don't look at the individuals. Contrary to the media hype, you aren't dealing with a bunch of people who quote unquote bit off more than they choose. The majority of my practice and the majority of people that are engaged in that fight in the city of Detroit are poor working people, minorities, and disabled people. And that constitutes the majority of my practice. Just by way of putting a picture to this, uh, for instance, my, my client who's a senior citizen, she's being treated for cancer, she has renal disease, she gets dialysis three times a week, she's trying to work out a modification, Nation Star, who's the servicer, sends her a letter in big bold print that said, we will not foreclose on your mortgage while you're being reviewed. Two weeks later, they sold her house at the sheriff's cell. She steadily sent them documents. We're on appeal on that case right now because the court said, guess what? The banks don't have to stop the foreclosure because there was never any contract. This is happening over and over and over again. My clients who are hardworking people in the city of Detroit, they're in foreclosure because their escrow and their taxes went up. Well, the area they were in actually got an enterprise zone tax abatement. Now, I may be a little naive, but the best of my knowledge definition of abatement means less of taxes. Well, that's what the court said. Well, the borrowers didn't tell them about the abatement, and too bad, despite the fact they made almost 10 payments on a forbearance for them to investigate this. It's over and over and over again. People are sending documentations in over and over for modifications. They're systematically being told they're lost, et cetera, et cetera. And we all know the story behind that. You can all go online, put in Bank of America, false affidavits, all that stuff. You will actually see employees who blew the whistle say, hey, we were told to shred that stuff when it comes in. This is being, you know, it's just outrageous. And the reason it makes it so outrageous in the city of Detroit is because, as Marilyn indicated, our property values are down approximately 90%. That means that the fear, I can talk about my area. I live in Detroit. Okay. House on my street sells for five thousand dollars. The mortgage on that house is a hundred thousand dollars. The bank gets the hundred thousand dollars through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, who's right. insuring Every the loan. Time. The borrower gets thrown out, and then you have another blighted property on the street. Of yeah. course, now you have all kind of quality of life issues, crime, you know, because of the vacant house. You have the blight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Blight is not the problem. Foreclosures are the problem. Mm -hmm. you know, For years with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and no one has stepped up to the plate to verify that they will do something to affirmatively assist these homeowners. I am not going to continue on, but I do have a written statement for the repertoires, and I have a disc with the supporting quantitative data to support. Hey, wow.